Mr. and Mrs. Obama had one more piece of a presidential business to attend to. Yes, it was the unveiling of their portraits at the Smithsonian. And ABC 2's Cassie Carlisle takes us inside for the big reveal. The unveiling is about to get underway, and a lot of celebrities have turned out for this event. Of course, our very own Baltimore resident, Amy Sherald, very excited about the unveiling, and she told us what she thinks of her latest work. Once my paintings are complete, the model no longer lives in that painting as themselves. I see something bigger. Tasked with capturing former First Lady Michelle Obama, Cheryl conveyed more than just a painting. You exist in our minds and our hearts in the way that you do because we can see ourselves in you. She wanted to show the woman behind the position. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. When Mrs. Obama saw it for the first time, words escaped her. I'm of course thinking about my dad, Frazier Robinson III man who sacrificed everything to give me and my brother opportunities he never dreamed for himself. Cheryl herself overcame huge hurdles to be here today, celebrated as the first African-American woman to paint a presidential portrait. She had a heart transplant, cared for sick relatives, got her master's at MICA, and now her biggest feat yet, unveiling this painting. Follow your dreams, don't give up. Um, Meditate on where you want to be and just follow your heart. Together, Mrs. Obama and Cheryl hope to add to the art narrative, bringing African Americans into focus. The public will be able to view both of these portraits starting tomorrow at the National Portrait Gallery at 1130. Reporting in D.C., Cassie Carlisle, ABC2 News. See, those are the stories we need coming out of Baltimore. There you, you go. That? And Barack Obama's portrait, which is slightly taller than his wife's, was done by Kendi Wiley, the former president who personally chose Wiley, said the artist listened carefully to his suggestion, uh, but then ignored some of them. He said he was going to have a hard time sitting still all that time. Yeah, right, right, right. right. Early today. Obama said that he asked for less gray hair and was denied, and he also tried to negotiate smaller ears and... Uh, he struck out there as well. Uh, well, they're, they're hanging now. That's oh, going to well, be great to go see history. it. History. 